Welcome back to the great outdoors, everybody. It's a good morning right now. Just coming off my first self bow successful hunt. Just thought I would come up here, do a little scouting, just soak it in. But we still got some time down here. And uh, we got a lot of pigs running around. In fact, I just saw one uh, walking around next to the riverbank here. Uh, and I saw an absolute giant a few weeks ago on a camera. Uh, one of the biggest pigs I've ever seen. And now that I've successfully got some blood on my traditional bow, I'm looking forward to getting some blood on my other compound bow, man. Uh, give myself some, some longer shot opportunities and maybe try to take down one of these big pigs. But I haven't seen any real big bucks coming out yet. There's a ton of acorns on the ground. I don't think we're going to see any real big ones um, coming out of the woodwork until later. I'm going to wait till it gets a little colder when those freaks start coming out to where I really start uh, trying to hunt a bigger buck. But for now, pigs are on the table. So let's try to get some bacon. <laughs> we're gonna switch it up go with the compound bow and we're gonna do a little stocking I'm not expecting much on this sometimes you just get lucky midday like when we're done deer hunting get out of the stand come back eat breakfast and then uh, sometimes we get get pigs in this area it's like a bedding area for them and it's a little cooler I quickly just want to share with you guys just show you this it's just so cool I, so this is what I retrieved out of the deer last night. Got pretty lucky with uh, with the shot. It did end up getting just a very, very back portion of the lung, of one lung, just one of them. And kind of went into the tenderloin a little bit too. And I'm not sure if it hit another artery or something. I, I, I don't really know. Uh, worked out though, but that's my trophy right there. Keeping that baby. And I also discovered a new little crack starting to develop on this bow. So this one's eventually going to break as well, fortunately. But will always be remembered. Pack and line, I'm just going to put a GoPro on my head. And I'm just carrying a little fanny, a little Bucks fanny. I've got extra batteries, my, uh, my range finder, stuff like that in there. And... See if we can see see a pig. A little midday bake. The wind is perfect. It's perfect for me to go back here right now. It's blowing right in my face. Oh guys, it's just too hot. I don't think anything's gonna be moving right now. It's like 90 degrees. So, those cows kind of boogered us up if there was anything bedding in here, and I don't think they're gonna be coming through. So, interesting little wind change coming out of the west. So I think that'll open up some, uh, some opportunities for us to set up a blind or even hunt the one that we already have for some pigs, I just need to pull some cards, see what's going on at the different feeders. All right guys, reviewing some pigs right now. 
uh, pulled the cards on our way back from our stock. And um, <clears throat> we have got picks. So I got this light set up, but I don't even think I'm gonna use it tonight. I think I'm gonna save that for another video. I changed the feeder timers last time I was here and it seems to have brought the pigs in uh, more in the evenings, um, which is great. I mean, it's not great for the deer, but um, there's one big bully hog that uh, he's been scaring off the deer at my favorite tree stand. I'm seeing enough photos in the daytime and in the evening time, uh, in the mornings as well, to where we've just missed them where I've gone out the last few times hunting for deer, both those spots, the tree stand and the bow blind that I put up, the, the hogs have been there. Um, I've smelled them, uh, I've heard them, I've seen the, their, the mud that they've rubbed off on the oak trees there. It's, we just missed them. Wind is not great tonight uh, for the tree. I think that's another reason we might have not seen pigs. Uh, in fact, when I got my, my buck with the trad bow, um, while I was getting situated in there, I heard a grunt and it came from the downwind side of me. So I know that the pig probably smelled me and, and grunted and, you know, didn't want to come in. So they got a better nose than the deer. Uh, when you mention using nose jammer, which I've used before and I've seen it not work at all. I've seen times where you think it works. I think all the scent stuff is really psychological. Something I did before I came out here is I, I smoked my clothes. You know, I put some uh, some damp leaves in my little uh, chimney outside, and I just smoked them, and they just kind of retain that that smoky smell. I've seen a lot of people do that. It makes complete sense to me uh, because that's a natural smell that they might occur. Uh, you know, occur just masks your your scent. You never can get rid of it, but as far as like elimination or jamming their nose with something else, I think it, if it's something they're used to smelling, then yes. Like if you, if you spray that nose jammer often in that area and they're used to smelling it, but if they've never smelled it before and then they get come in an area and it's like, whoa, you know, what is this perfume like smell that's hitting me? Some, something's weird here. The deer I shot last night, he straight up smelled me as soon as he came in and he came in like he came into the wind purposely in the big bucks. They always do that. Not that that was a big buck, but he was smart uh, until he got in there and I shot him. So we might see this big boar. We might get busted by another big buck. I don't really want that to happen, but we'll try to get something on video, have some fun out there. I'll see y'all in the blind.
This may be a lost cause sitting up here this afternoon. Alright, it is 6.50. It is like prime time. But I just don't see how this is going to happen, guys. I'm going to just try a maverick move and go to this, uh, this feeder where I've seen a pig or two and try to make a stock, see if there's anything even there right now. Looks like we're SOL tonight, guys. Ah, maybe I should have set up the light. I don't know. But I got a good feeling about tomorrow morning. Wind's gonna change. And it seems like everything is uh, showing up at this tree. It's just, you gotta have the wind right. So, tomorrow we'll try again. <laughs> We got one last shot at this Baconator. I'm hoping this big hog comes in. This one that's probably over 200 pounds. And we might see some crazy bucks, guys. So, fingers crossed. I'm hoping for a big bacon. Stock. I'm just getting busted right here. Getting 
lost it every time. All right, no pigs, y'all. I just tried to make a stock on our trad bow spot. Got this rock quarry back behind me. It's always good sound cover. And old little six point was standing there. Um, no pigs, though. Just, it's wild. Like, I could hear them this morning. They cleaned up all the corn from last night. I guess they were just fat and happy, or they smelled me from a long ways away. I mean, we were few hundred yards from them i know that they just never came out the deer were weary this morning i'm tired of getting busted y'all i'm tired of it uh we just need some consistent northern winds it was calm again this morning so it was it was crazy i mean it was too too dark to film but i had deer literally walking around me one made a scrape like 15 yards from me i, I think it was the big 10 point and then he never came out again then there was like four other bucks had that crazy little uh, little bambi deer just he was going nuts or she was going nuts i don't know i've never seen that before it was crazy to film i'm gonna come back when we get some good north winds uh usually about mid-october here in texas is when we start getting some good cold fronts every place that's set up to hunt out here is set up for north winds it's not set up for south winds so i've been just kind of just got so lucky with the trad bow um i mean just awesome so the hunt for big baconator is going to have to continue but yeah that's that's part of it it's part of the fun man when we get some good north winds we'll come back here thank you guys for tuning in uh if you want to stay tuned for more hunting fishing action subscribe right here to the channel and thank you guys for being here on all my outdoor adventures i'll see you on the next one